This question says the lengths of two trains are in the ratio of 7 is to 10. Their speeds are 72 and 96 respectively. So let us say train 1 and train 2. Lengths are in the ratio of 7 and 10. Let's say 7 L and 10 L. And their speeds are 72 and 96. So 72 means 72 into 5 by 18. I can say 20 meter per second is the speed. And 96 means 96 into 5 by 18. So 6 3 is 18, 16 6 is 96. It is 80 by 3 meter per second is the speed of the second train. So he says now, if the longer train, longer train means this train, right? So uh, rather than writing here, I should have written them here. This is train 1, this is train 2. He says the longer train, that means this train crosses a person sitting in the shorter train. So if this is a train, this is a shorter train, the train crosses a person sitting in this train. Let us say this is the person. You start counting the time when the longer train reaches here. You stop counting the time when the longer train crosses this person. So ultimately, the longer train has to cover its own length with respect to the person. It has got nothing to do with the length of the shorter train. So the longer train has to cover its own length that is 10. At what speed? He says it covers in 90 seconds moving in same direction. Same direction means speed would be 80 by 3 minus 20. 80 by 3 minus 20. So this gives me 10 divided by, sorry, 10 L divided by 80 by 3 minus 20 is 20 by 3. And the time taken in this case is 90 seconds. So can't I calculate L from here? It is 90 into 20 by 3, which is equal to how much? 600 and 600 by 10. So I can say the value of L is equal to 60. That means shorter train has a length of 420, longer train has a length of 600. Moreover, what is the question asking you find the time taken by the shorter train now to cross the person in the longer train. So this time we have to cover 420 length. The shorter train has to cover its own length of 420. At what speed? Now they are running in opposite direction. So the speed would be sum of the two speeds using relative speed. So 20 plus 80 by 3. This is 140 by 3. So 420 divided by 140 by 3, this gives me 9 seconds is the time in which the shorter train would have crossed a person in the longer train. 9 seconds is the answer. If you ask me, I'll put this question in the category of easy only because again, it's a question based upon a simple concepts of trains and we would have done such questions in our, uh, I mean, uh, training wherever from you did the coaching and all. So you must have studied such questions there in relative speed. Right answer for this question was... Nice.